Okie dokie, folkies. This is the other part of my project. Um, as you can see, we Okay, that is my crappy kayak paddle. And then this is what I got from the Oklahoma hunting, fishing, and boat show this week. Anyway, this was free from the Army Corps of Engineers, and I'm going to add it to my paddle. As you can see, I got one of these cheap kind of paddles, a little button for adjustment anyway. The first thing I did was I set it up the way I like it, because I don't know how many paddlers are out there up, but this is straight up and down, but if you look over there, that one's flat. But that just kind of helps you cut the wind as you become more advanced in uh, in using um, when you, you yeah you become more advanced you learn to do it that way so anyway um, I scooted my little pads all the way to the ends and my little you know keep the cold water out of your armpit things so anyway I guess you if you wanted to you could put that perfectly in the middle which would be fine as long as you're close this is 18 inch ruler although so I will I'll put it close to the 9 inch mark so anyway I peel off the backing and I will start at the middle where my um, paddle starts to split and I'll try to put that approximately on the seam and in my opinion this does not have to be oh it's not does not have to be very exact um, but it needs to be pretty darn close okay make sure I'm still filming Okay, so got that on there. St I always start from the middle when applying tape to try to get all air, oop, air bubbles out. Start from the middle and work your way out. Get out there it is. Wear your life jacket. It's a rule you can live by. And actually, if I was smart, I would have stuck it on this other side, facing the other way. That way, people can see it as I'm paddling. Hey, wear your life jacket. But since I'll be filming, and a lot of times it'll be on chest cam, I figure I can get the message to my subs because I care about each and every one of you. Anyway, then, uh, let me take and try to find the seam with my my thumbnail. That way it's nice and marked. I don't know if y'all can see that real well, but there's a it's marked real nicely right there. So now all I have to do is get a razor. Anyway, so I kind of work the edges over. With work the edges over with my thumbnail. And there you have it. I may even, um, for extra good measure, put a little bit of that sealant I put on my lures, which is basically just a uh, quick drying two ton epoxy clear coat on there. I don't know. Um, I may not go that far. I mean, this sticker stuff sticks pretty good. Um, if through paddling this season, I do start to notice it coming up, I'll probably do so. But anyway, let me. I could actually work that over that edge of that, 
and this one over the edge of that and move my doohickeys down where they should be all right she is ready to paddle she is back out of my way if I let go of it she just naturally rolls to that position lay my fish out on there and I got a quick little reference measuring board from here on out ready for kayak season all right I thought about adding some stickers to the tips of my paddles I don't know uh, let me know what y'all think um, if I should and uh, if you know any place that gives away some good stickers um, um, that'd be great too anyway uh, I've got a few I've got a Gene Jensen Fluke Master sticker I have a um, sticker from uh, Lucky Tackle Box, um, which I don't know if that would really look that keen on there. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see what kind of stickers I have or what I come across and, and uh, start thinking about pimping out my paddles a little more. Uh, my next project, I've got a, I'm going to drag my kayak in here and... Um, I need to put in a uh, a hatch for it, one of them little round hatches that you open up and you can get down in it because um, previously I've been, with my fish finder, I kind of had like a PVC tube with the depth finder over the edge and, and it, it worked okay with my little battery box and I had my finder mounted to my battery box and that that worked okay but I really really don't like it um, because you have this thing hanging over and it's just kind of bulky and it seems to be in the way and it, um, in my little kayak my legs always hitting that piece of PVC and it's it just gives you a sore spot on the, on, on the side of your calf so um, so I'm being a little wimp about it so I'd rather just have a wire there so I saw this company on YouTube and they have a way to mount your transducer through your hull without drilling holes and basically it's just uh, the side where your transducer is on there's you mount your transducer to it and it's got a magnet and then on the inside of your hull you got a super powerful magnet and boom, you suck that sucker together and it's on there and it's on there for good and when you're done you could just yank that thing off and put it away and uh, you know, the old wire stay on the inside with the exception of the wire that comes out as your transducer wire um, but uh, it seems to put the the transducer in a good position and uh, that seems to be a better bet for me so I'm gonna go that route that way I get real water temperature and I could pretty much mount that thing anywhere that I could reach into that hatch with Plus, I need storage. My little yak, if you don't know, is a Castaway 100 by Pelican, and uh, it just has no storage in it. And I'd like to be able to stuff some stuff in the in a hatch if I need to. So, um, anyway, so I'm going to be putting that in sometime this week, hopefully, um, and uh, I'll try to film a video on it. Anyway, that's it for now.